Hey guys, it's Ziri here. I thought I'd do a little um, commentary over this video because I feel like I should explain why these six artists are my inspiration and who they are. And uh, to clarify one thing, these aren't the only artists that inspire me. These were just the first six that just popped into my head. And um, I hope you do enjoy the video and um, I'll better get to this part right now is that um, this is the only sketching you'll ever see because um, <laughs> the sketching took a lot longer than anticipated and as you can see like right about here we're going straight into line art and Psy and um, we, I, the, the, the line art has so much footage already like I think there's like six hours worth of footage of line art in here and I'm just like kind of glad I didn't record the sketching because that's probably gonna be like 12 hours and I'm just like nope I'm gonna have to uh, just do like that one sketch and then I'll be done with that also a little quick update that because this project did took so long I am going to have to delay videos for just a little bit uh, I'll probably do a tutorial next, or uh, maybe I'll work on just like drawing one of my OCs, and uh, that would probably be it for that because um, I just I, there's another project I want to do, but even though that has less characters than this, it's still going to be basically an almost an entire painting, and I'm just going to be like pulling my hair at the end of this. <laughs> oh boy. So one of the main reasons that this did take so long is because, as I guess you can kind of tell, I am not used to drawing chibis, and um, it was uh, real. It's really hard trying to shrink every detail to the size of. I guess you can say like a three-month-old size. I guess that's the best way to put it, because these are basically like mini versions of people, and so trying to shrink them down is like, oh my god, what the hell? And, um, yeah, so, um, not much to say, but I guess I can explain my sketching process a bit, because, um, yeah, I did skip all that, and, um, okay, so, let's start with that. So what I normally do for the sketching process is normally I start with, like, construction lines, you know, the basics, and then refine the sketch, adding details, and, you know... Pretty much that's all I did in this one, it's just the difference is that, um, uh, I was trying to figure out how to do the poses for this one because, like I said earlier, trying to shrink everything down is, like, really hard, so the proportions are off and you're just, like, wondering what the hell am I supposed to do with this and that and, you know, yada yada yada, all that good stuff. Um... The refined sketch wasn't too hard, but there were just a few couple of characters that did have a lot of detail that were just like, how the hell are you, am I supposed to shrink all this? Like, um, uh, like right around here, uh, not her, but her character behind her, uh, Kira, uh, she had like a bunch of like fur and ripped up skirt, plaid skirt, and um, you can kind of see it because sometimes I pull up the reference files because even during the coloring process, I still had to put up some reference files for this. And, um, yeah. And then I had to use the, um, vector layers for some things, which were mostly the glasses and the, the necklace and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Um, I think I might just play the music over just a little bit. And, um, when we get to actually coloring the characters, I will come back and explain why these artists are my inspiration. So, um, be right back.
Okay, so the first artist here we have is Ocean, and uh, her avatar, I guess, Ocean as well, I guess. I don't know. I don't think she ever got a name. I think that's supposed to be Ocean, but eh, who knows. But um, she is um, one of the first artists that I saw when I saw her art. I thought it was adorable. And I'm just like, I hope I've been able to draw like her one day. And uh, thanks to her like old style, I was able to um, be able to f help me out with my shoujo and a bit of my anatomy as well, and uh, learn how to use sigh a little bit better than what I was doing before. And uh, yeah, and I think her avatar is just the most adorable thing. And there's the final picture. Next up we have is Slugbox, and I'm gonna warn you guys right now, unless you guys are okay with hentai, I suggest you don't check him out, because he is basically a hentai artist, as you can tell by his character right there. But the main reason I like this guy is because, A, his live streams are freaking hilarious, and uh, B, I just love the guy's anatomy, and I believe we all have that one hentai artist we all admire. And for those of you who are fans of Slowbox, the main reason I'm drawing um, Nicole, I think that's how you pronounce her name, instead of like Clif Clif the blue alien chick that is mainly his mascot, is because this project it was already taking so long and I needed it already an easy enough character and she looked the easiest out of all of them. And uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say about him. He's just fun to listen to when I draw. Draw and his character designs are cute. I'm not gonna lie, she's a cute cat girl. Next up, we got Yamyo, who is a Swedish um, artist, and if it wasn't for her, I would have not been able to get through this project because she basically draws chibis for a living, and I think they're the most adorable chibis I have ever seen. And if I had the money, I would have her commission a couple of my. Uh, OCs right now to turn them into chibi form, but as it stands right now, I am pretty much broke. So, yeah. Gotta practice more chibis to hopefully get make them look as cute as hers someday. And, oh god, I just love that cat. Wish I could have a cat, but eh, stupid mom allergies, but oh well, what can you do? Next up, we have uh, Bailey J and her and uh, Ocean are both Canadian artists, and uh, Bailey here is a mostly strictly traditional, a traditional artist. She does some digital stuff, but her channel is mostly focused on traditional. And uh, this one's a little bit different because um, that's not really her OC. That she actually that was actually what she looked like before, but that's also kind of it for mascot as well. So I'm just like, you know what? I'll just go with that. And um, I like Bailey because, well, I think she just has a fun personality and it shows and her tutorials really do help. So uh, here we have Kira Moondust, who is my, actually my best friend. We've known each other since the fifth grade and I, be forever, I am forever grateful for her because thanks to her I was able to stop drawing my anime characters like freaking blocks <laughs> and actually make them look like actual anime characters. Um, she was basically the first person to ever really help me with my art and god damn that skirt. I used to draw in plaid as you can see. And, or I'm not sure if that's really called plaid but checker pattern or whatever. But uh yeah she was the first one to help me improve my art to actually help me teach me how to get better. Which also reminds me I need to do a collab with her. Hopefully soon. Last but not least, we have Zombie Dice K, and yeah, I know, like, for some strange reason that eyebrow was bugging me, but the main reason he has two OCs, because he's, well, mainly known for these two OCs. These are basically his mascots. Uh, I believe one's called Gorda, the other one's 13. I'm, I should probably just stop right there and not try to botch or something. Anyway, I, talking to him in the live streams is always fun, and... I'm just amazed at how well this guy draws men. I'm just like, Ugh, I need to draw men as good as you, for God's sakes. And his character superhero redesigns are just friggin' amazing as well. And, uh, 
uh, looks like we're approaching the end of the video because right now here we're just coloring in the line art and fixing some things. And I know I left some things out, like a couple of tattoos, which I probably should <laughs> edit those. <laughs> okay, so here's Zombie Daisuke, and the six should be coming up right about now. There they are. And thanks for joining me, and um, see you guys in the next video. Bye!